This is our answer to the question of what kind of a rocket heater bench can we have on a suspended floor over a basement or a crawl space that won't collapse the floor that will give us something warm to sit on. Uncle Mud here in my living room getting ready to install my rocket heater again in a new place. We put a new floor in. This is scrap wood from our local hardwood flooring manufacturer. They sell it uh, by the dump truck load as firewood but it's got the tongue and groove on it, so we turned it into a floor. And uh, over here we had a small cob bench, and uh, we've turned the uh, chimney um, hole into a skylight. There, There's the other pieces for the skylight that's going in. The top of it is already up there, keeping the water out. And it'll get ready to have that bottom part before it gets too cold here. And then over here, we're building a cob bench uh, that the chimney will go through uh, and these barrels will sit up on little metal legs and they'll come together in a 45 degree angle in the corner here. And I'm just showing you this little trick we found to mark a 45 and cut a 45 degree angle on a, uh, on a barrel. We've got a cheap laser level here on a tripod with a uh, pointed at it, giving us um, pretty darn close to 45 degrees. Since these barrels will just be full of cob, we don't have to be perfect, but it will sure look nicer if it's close. So we're marking and uh, cutting these barrels to match and then screwing plates over them to have everything be rigid and installing legs on them. And the rocket heater will sit over here and the chimney will go through the barrel around over here and then up through the new chimney hall. So, wish us luck. Fire it up and warming ours up and drying this cob out. The cob is going into these half barrel benches that are sitting on little legs. And uh, the pipe goes through them and gets filled, surrounded with cob. And then comes up the chimney, goes outside here. already and we've just been putting cob in this for a couple hours now. It dried rock hard here where the chimney comes in. Over there it's still wet um, but uh, our uh, Gamera rocket heater is doing a very nice job of warming up this bench and uh, not burning our house down. We've got a new design for a rocket heater cob bench. The pipe goes into the center of this half barrel that's up on cast iron legs. There's a thermal sensor there to make sure we don't get the floor too hot. Right now that says it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit under there. But those cast iron legs hold up this cob bench inside a half barrel. It goes around in an L shape. It's about five inches from the wall to allow heat to circulate around from the bottom. And then it goes up the chimney there, coming out of this lovely Gamera rocket heater from Bulgaria that we're testing. And uh, it's doing a great job. We've been running it uh, for a season now, and uh, well, nearly a season, and uh, we're very happy with it. It uh, burns these little scraps of hardwood that we get for about 30 bucks a cord from the local uh, flooring manufacturer. And uh, so it costs about $100 a year to heat our house. And um, we're excited to see how this new big bench that replaces the little bench we used to have over here um, is going to do for us. And uh, the big tests have begun. We're using the Gamera to actually dry out the cob so we have some place to sit. And uh, we're continually sculpting the cob uh, as we put new layers on. We'll have a nice sculpted bench when it all dries out. We'll oil it uh, so that it uh, doesn't dust into the room. And uh, this will be a lovely place to sit. So keep watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or support our work and get access to exclusive mud and fire content at patreon.com forward slash Uncle Mud. Thank you.